protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com It's not just medical tyranny, it is full spectrum tyranny. We see, of course, that Obama is announcing, and they're sending out the signals, and this is the way they always do it, he's going to have executive orders on the cybersecurity data threat. So we've seen this coming. They even point out in the article, this is something they're justifying based on the hack of Sony over the interview. That's not even a legitimate hack. It doesn't threaten anybody. Nobody was harmed with that. But most people say that it was an inside job. Security experts say that it was an inside job. It was not North Korea. Nevertheless, Obama hasn't been able to get CISPA through. The Democrats and those who want to run CISPA through, and I would say the Republicans want it as badly, if not more so, than the Democrats do. CISPA was Cyber Intelligence Sharing Protection Act. And so when they started talking about cyber intelligence sharing right after the Sony hack, you knew where this was going. You knew they were bringing back CISPA yet again. It's been defeated twice. The other earlier variants of it, SOPA, ACTA, PIPA, those have also been defeated, not only here in America, but abroad in Western democracies. So they're going to do it by executive order, or they're going to do it by the treaties. They've, they've got multiple ways they're going to try to put this through. Now, intelligence sharing is not there to protect you. It's not there to protect the public. It's there to protect the snitches in multinational corporations who are collecting your data and turning this over to the government. It's to protect them from legal uh, charges as well as from lawsuits for violating your privacy. That's what the intelligence sharing is set up to protect. It's set up to protect the corporations from being sued. This is coming from Reuters. It says President Barack Obama is expected to announce an executive order directing the government and companies to share more information. Of course, you know the government's not going to be sharing any information. They don't give us any information about anything, as we'll see in the next story. They're going to share information about cyberspace security threats in response to attacks like that on Sony Entertainment. And they point out, as in other policy areas where Obama has been unable to get legislation through the now Republican-controlled Congress, dot, 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 the White House is going to do whatever they want. Let's take an, al an analogy. Let's say that you had a sheriff in town, and the sheriff said, I've been trying to get the, the town to pass a law to outlaw fill in the blank. I don't care what it is. I want them to outlaw that and put heavy fines and jail terms on that. But I just can't get the town council to do anything. So I'm going to start arresting and, and finding people on my own because they won't do what I tell them to do. That's exactly what Obama is doing. So we asked a question at Infowars.com. Why is Obama doing this? And of course, we all know the answer. They want to control the press. And the only free press that exists today is on the internet. In a story from Kit Daniels up on Infowars.com today, he says the mainstream media's declining influence is motivating the federal government to regulate the internet because controlling information is the most powerful way to control the public. Absolutely. That historically has been the case. And as he points out in the article, since uh, from 2012 to 2013, CNN and MSNBC dropped 59% and 52% in their audiences in a critical demographic of 25 to 54-year-olds. They also point out the combined median primetime viewership of CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC since 2013 has dropped 11%. You see, the news just isn't credible, just like the information, quote-unquote, were being given, being given by about vaccines. In another article on Infowars.com today, we see the court rules details of DHS cell phone service kill switch can remain a secret. Guess what? The government's not going to tell us anything about something it's doing. The government doesn't tell us anything about anything it's doing. In this particular case, we don't know anything about this secret program that can kill cell phone coverage in a particular area except the name of the program. It's SOP 303. Standard Operating Procedure 303. Standard Operating Procedure is to shut off all information and not tell us what they're doing. That's Standard Operating Procedure. They've got a name for it, SOP 303. I guess we should say SO3, SOP 303 for everything. They say the U.S. Court of Appeals, however, in Washington, has ruled now that the Department of Homeland Security's procedure for shutting down cell phone service during the declared emergency can remain secret. This was a lawsuit that was brought by the Electronic Privacy Information Center, EPIC, 
after the DHS failed to release its criteria for network shutdowns following an incident in 2011. See, they've already done it. They've already done it. This is not science fiction. This is not conspiracy theories. This is our wild imaginations. No, it was actually four years ago. Government officials in San Francisco disabled cell phone service during a peaceful protest. Disabled cell phone service during a peaceful protest. Why would you need to have cell phone service showing a peaceful protest? Well, it might be because the police are not planning on being peaceful. Nevertheless, they say the demonstration was against the police killing of Charles Hill, a homeless man who was shot dead by a Bay Area rapid transit officer. And as they point out, they tried to get information about what criteria do they use to shut it down. It isn't that we're looking to see if they have the capability. We know they have the capability. What are the criteria? The DHS initially said, well, we don't have any information about that. The agency is, quote, unable to locate or identify any responsive records. The judge didn't like that. The judge at the district court level ruled that the feds had improperly withheld the information, and he ordered its release. So then they filed an appeal, and now they don't have to talk. As Al Jazeera pointed out, your location data is your life, and police want it all. In this particular article, they're talking about using license plate readers to track your movements. Well, of course, as we've seen and reported, a couple of years back in 2009, the DEA was going to record license plates at gun shows. They were going to use the old technology of driving around and photographing license plates of people who had gone to gun shows. This is the DEA. This is not even the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms. This is the Drug Enforcement Agency. And they were going to do that they said that they didn't actually implement the plan once it was leaked to the ACLU and the ACLU asked for information about it. I'm sure they had better, higher tech ways of doing that. And of course, now they're monitoring our license plates everywhere we go and tracking our locations. And you should be worried about that. You should be even more worried about the fact that the federal government is planning on not only tracking your movements, but controlling your movements. Once you have a computer-controlled, government-controlled car, they will not only be able to track everywhere that you're going, but they will be able to restrict your movement. Controlling movement is a key cornerstone of tyranny, and they're working to effectively shut that down. At the same time, they're going to shut down the internet with kill switches, shut down your cell phone with kill switches, and spy on you. Of course, they have the Stingray program, and uh, they will not release information about that because they have something that is more important than a judicial order, that is more important than the Constitution, and that is a non-disclosure agreement with Harris Corporation, an electronics company. That's what the police told a judge when he said, I want to see the information about the Stingray program. They said, no, we can't do that. We've got a non-disclosure agreement. And he said, not with me, you don't, at which point they just removed the charges from the person because they will do anything for the corporations, they will do nothing to support the oath that they took to get their job, the oath they took to the Constitution. Well, stay with us right after the break. We have an amazing admission from a grandmother who gets ISIS to admit that the CIA is giving them weapons. Stay with us. We'll be right back. The knowledge of the ancients, tried and true, trusted herbs and extracts fused with the latest nutraceutical science. Introducing the all-new Ancient Defense Herbal Immunity Blend, crafted with over 14 key ancient herbs and extracts to supercharge and prepare your body for what experts admit is the most dangerous season of the year. We have rejected hundreds of other formulations in our quest to bring you what is simply the most powerful and comprehensive proprietary formula that we have ever created in the realm of herbal immunity. For the last two years, our team has been working with top doctors, nutritionists, and chemists to develop the ultimate nutraceutical formulation. Experience the benefits of combining over 14 ancient herbs and extracts with exciting new advances in nutraceutical science. For a limited time, get 25% off on this introductory offer. Visit ancientdefense.com or call 888-253-3139. ancientdefense.com. 